Hey Pisces, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for October 2022. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages here for you guys for the rest of October. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. But let's see, we have number one, all is in perfect timing. It says, this is it. It is time to take action. Now there will be, sorry, I will be here to help you every step of the way. We also have angels are healing, sorry, angels of healing are with you. A time of healing is about to bless your life. Accept Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. All right, the time is now, Pisces. Let's see, what else is going on for you guys? We have sovereignty. Love this energy for you guys. 26, bottom of the deck, we have love. So this is definitely healing heart chakra energy with this green energy here and healing and this love energy. Um, some of you, this is about self-love, healing your heart space, self-love. And it's time to really kind of like move forward and step into your authenticity, step into your sovereignty. Um, just really embrace what it is that you are kind of just like, just like you and your authenticity and you who all of what it is that you are about. Some of you definitely are looking at taking action in some direction though. I almost feel like it's like, this could be like taking action or it's the right time. It's always the right time, but this is about taking action about, um, how do I want to word this? Like almost, doing what you want to do, like being sovereign, being independent, being your own. So there might be something that you're doing that's like requiring, it's like you're stepping out as your authentic self somehow, or just in an empowered state. And it's coming from a really good space. Let's see. Okay. We have the Fool card first out with potential here. We have the Six of Swords, Seven of Wands. We have the Emperor with the Monarch. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. We have Judgment with Awakening. We have Justice. And we have the Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. So some of you are realizing your own potential is what I'm getting with judgment, the emperor and the fool here, like realizing your own potential, um, going, going through for some of you possibly like an awakening, but it's like seeing the truth, justice, queen of swords down here with judgment. It's like, you're seeing the truth. You're seeing the path. You're seeing very clearly. Um, some of you have maybe felt like it's time to step out on the new path with the full card here, but maybe feeling a little bit blocked with the six of swords and then hitting the seven of so seven of wands. Um, and it's kind of this energy of like, well, what is it that you want to, to have seven of cups right in the center here? What is it that you want to move forward with, with the eight of wands and the emperor? What is it that you're choosing to step forward with? What is it that you're wanting to move forward with? It's almost like a slight resistance. I'm not sure. I mean, there is this five of wands here at the bottom of the deck. We also have the tower here with revolution, six of wands. So some of you, it's like, some of you may feel like you've regressed. Like you were in this really good space with six of wands or this successful space, or maybe a space where you got a lot of attention. And then it's like the tower hit and something has changed here where now you're almost in, in this place of struggle with the five of wands, like challenge and, and fighting for things. And um, like some of you may feel like some, something's kind of knocked you back a step. But you do have the ability to move forward. It's just a matter of realizing your own potential. And I feel like you're healing this and you're working through this. And 
you haven't missed out on anything. The per this is all in perfect timing. You were meant to kind of go through these experiences. So let's see what this fool energy is here for Pisces. Some of you, the month of July could be significant. For some reason, that's coming in here with the Seven of Cups. So with the Fool, we have the Six of Pentacles. Empress. So you're looking for growth, um, looking, for, looking to maybe receive or be more open and receptive to things. Some of you are, are looking to receive potentially like a new path, like you're want, waiting for something to open up for you. Why is the Six of Swords here for Pisces? We have the Queen of Swords. So there's definitely mental clarity here. I feel like you have a, a very clear mind. Almost like you're being able to use your logic and your intuition. Queen of Swords has shown up twice here. I always kind of see her that way. Like she's very discerning. She knows when and where to use logic versus intuition. Um, and nothing gets by her. She can see like everything. So there may be like a change that you're looking to make or a move that you're wanting to make. Why is the seven of wands here? Queen of cups. Yeah, I just feel like this is like the heart um, being kind of blocked here and healing this, needing to heal this. Um, the heart space, the heart center, especially if you're showing up as this queen of swords, like I feel like maybe the emotional space is a little bit guarded. The Queen of Cups always is kind of guarding her cup, right? And there's a lot of swords here. There's a sword here. There's a sword in this card. And then we have the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So you're getting very clear and almost like cutting yourself free. Freeing yourself. Um, why is this Emperor here for Pisces? We have the Page of Pentacles. Why the Seven of Cups? Why the Seven of Cups for Pisces? Yeah, we have the Fool. It's like, again, like I said, what direction do you want to move into? It's up to you. The choice is yours. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Yeah, the Emperor. So it's like you're moving forward or you have the ability to move forward in a direction here. You just have to choose. It's like, what are you going to dedicate your time and your energy into? There may be like learning here that is required in order for you to move forward. There also could be a, for some of you, there's an emperor or a, a partner that you have. I feel like this would be somebody who potentially with the Hierophant here, you're already in a relationship with that maybe has some good news or positive news around a direction here. Some of you, you could, I guess for some of you, you could be entering a new relationship. I feel like you've already been giving to this situation though, if that's the case. Like this is already someone you've been in contact with or you're talking to. Why is judgment here? Two of swords. Yeah, king of wands. There definitely could be a, a decision here. Justice, we have the sun. What's this queen of swords? Wheel of fortune. Give me one more with that. Six of wands. So success, change. We have the ten of swords here at the bottom of the deck. Nine of pentacles. Some of you definitely could be entering relationship if that's the case. It's like you're no longer going to be single independent like you know what i mean that you're not going to be independent but you're not going to be single or it's not just going to be you kind of thing but ultimately this feels like choosing a path here pisces that makes you feel happy makes you feel connected to your heart space makes feel, comes from a place of purpose um there is going to be success here and expansion and growth that comes in for you um, whatever you choose but I almost just feel like what really makes your heart sing <laughs> is what I'm hearing 
it almost feels too like you might have so many directions to go into and it's not so much about like which one is the right one it's it's more of like what what do you want to put your time and your energy into I feel like you have the potential to get a lot of different things growing and maybe you know you eventually you evolve and you kind of are able to put your time and your energy into a lot of different things if it's like projects right but this is like at this moment what is it that's calling you the most judgment to a swords if you follow what's calling you with judgment there's not too much to think about with the two of swords here there's not too much like like if you follow the calling there's not too much of like a weighing the pros and the cons you know so what is it that you want to work on what is it that you want to put effort into if it's a person is this the person that you can see yourself with that you can see a future with um is this someone who you want to open yourself up to are you ready to open yourself up to someone right so definitely i feel like you're stepping into this place of opening yourself up to an experience here that it's about is this an alignment with you is this something that makes you feel good is this something that is coming from a heart-centered space why is or what is the advice here for pisces we have the chariot with freedom we have the magician and we have the three of cups and we have the mystic here at the bottom which is the hierophant so yeah, this is like again choosing what's going to make you happy what do you what do you want to celebrate what do you want to have emotionally that's fulfilling for yourself what makes you feel good i feel like the chariot is saying like you have the ability to have success in whatever you choose but you'll have the most success in something that feels good to you feels emotionally fulfilling the magician is just you creating your reality so whatever changes you make you're in control you're in the driver's seat here and you're able to bring in a sense of happiness and celebration here for yourself your advice is i just feel like to go towards the thing that would feel like a celebration that would feel like a party that would feel so good to you that you're excited to tell people or invite people to or whatever right it's like what is it that you believe in what is it that you value even the hierophant here and really going after that and going forward with it confidently as well with this magician and the chariot so it's time for you to take action towards something here that's in your environment already it's in your vicinity i feel like it's kind of in your awareness already and the choice is yours but i feel like it's more about following your heart rather than thinking about it from a like a really logical practical perspective so hopefully that made sense um but i feel like you're headed in a good direction it's just about following your heart so that is what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of the other signs or any of your other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.